Now I want to show off the Isotope Vocal Doubler plugin and how this could be used in your productions to take a simple vocal recording that you have and to make that a lot wider and also create some kind of artificial double tracked vocals. This could be especially helpful if you're working on a mix for a client and it would really improve the track if there was a double in the vocals, but either they don't have time to record it or they haven't recorded one of the mix stems that they sent you over. So you can use this to create an artificial double tracking effect that could really thicken up your vocals and make them sound a lot more professional. Then once I show off the main feature set of this plugin, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can use this in parallel to create some interesting double tracks inside of your mix. And then also how to use this as a creative effect on a drum sample. Cause you can actually use this plugin in various different ways. They can actually be super nice for a production. So here I have a vocal sample that we're working with in this video. Sounds like this. Put my trust into your devotion. Shot a bullet into my heart. You are vain and wasting my affection. Turn the page, need a brand new start. This is a vocal that we talked about a little bit earlier. It almost has like a deep house kind of flavor to it. It's gonna be perfect for this type of effect. So this is the Isotope Vocal Doubler. Super simple interface. We basically have this visual representation of what this effects plugin is doing. And then we have the controls over here. So if I click on this and drag it down, you can see that it makes the interface here more narrow. You can also see that the separation has decreased. If I increase this, it's going to increase the separation. And I can twist it to the left or right to increase the variation. So you kind of set both of those two settings in relation to one another. And that's how you create your various different types of effects. Additionally, you can also click on these and drag them as well. If you want to get more specific with exactly how it's all set up. So right now, the amount of the effect is turned up to 100%. So basically, think of this as a dry wet knob. This is turned all the way up to 100% so we can just hear this effect over on my vocal. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started messing around with our vocal. I'm going to go ahead and put the separation all the way up and leave it at variation of zero. Sounds like this. Put my trust into your devotion. Shot a bullet into my heart. So right now, it almost sounds like a chorusing effect, but as I increase the level variation, listen to how this changes. Put my trust into your devotion, shot a bullet into my heart. You were vain and wasted my affection, turn the page, need a brand new start. So as I increase the level of separation, which I do by rotating everything to the right, what that's going to do is basically create slight variations between left and right channels on the vocal. Put my trust into your devotion, shot a bullet into my heart. That gives us that double tracked effect. So now it actually sounds like I have a copy of this vocal that was sung on the left and a copy of this vocal that was sung on the right. So it gives me a lot more width on the vocal, especially once we go through and blend this in with the original. Put my trust into your devotion, shot a bullet into my heart. You are vain and wasting my affection. Turn the page, need a brand new start. Gives us really nice natural sounding chorusing that you get from creating multi-tracked vocals. The other control here that we have is going to be that separation, which basically just controls the texture of the voice. Put my trust into and the level of separation between each of those different takes. Put my trust into your devotion. Shot a bullet into my heart. Put my trust into your devotion. Shot a bullet into my heart. If you just want to hear the effect only, so basically soloing just the wet signal, you can also turn it on over here. Put my trust into your devotion. Which gives us a little bit more clean of a double tracked sound. Put my trust. So you can go ahead and play around with these controls here to dial this in as an insert on your vocal. Or you can do what I like to do on my vocals whenever I use this plugin, and I actually create a duplicate copy of my vocal. So I take that vocal track, I just duplicate it, I'm going to right click, hit duplicate inside Ableton. This original one, we can go ahead and turn off the double tracking. And then on this one, I want to make sure that we solo our wet signal. So that way we just have that widened vocal copy. Put my trust into your devotion. That gives us that nice double tracked vocal sound. Now what I can do is blend that in with my original signal and process it individually. So let me just grab a simple EQ here. The type of EQ really doesn't matter. I'm just looking for a simple shelving EQ. So I can take out a little bit of that top end. Put my trust into your devotion. Shot a bullet into my heart. The reason I'm doing this is so that widened vocal copy kind of sits behind the nice crunchy top end of my main vocal. Then we can go ahead and blend that in with our original signal and we get a nice double track effect. 
Put my trust into your devotion. Shot a bullet into my heart. You were vain and wasting my affection. Turn the page, need a brand new start. So listen without that EQ. Put my trust into your devotion. It actually just sounds like it's kind of a copy of that vocal, but because we're processing it just a little bit differently, and now it's pushed back in the mix a little bit more, it creates a much more believable double tracked effect. Put my trust into your devotion, shot a bullet into my heart. You were vain and wasting my affection, turn the page, need a brand new start. So it just makes a much more believable effect by reducing some of those high frequencies. It also just helps the listener to focus on the main vocal performance, because if this was a mix, especially if this was like in a deep house track or something, there's a lot of big synth basses and big drum parts, we really want the listener to focus in on the top end frequencies of the vocal and all the presence that that vocal has inside of the track, and we want them to go ahead and kind of focus not on the side signals, but on the signal in the center. So that's how I like to use this plugin in a mix. I go ahead and create a separate track. I almost process it like it's a double of some type, and that gives me just a little bit more flexibility inside of my mix. Then let's go ahead and talk about kind of an unusual case for this, and that's gonna be on a drum loop. This drum loop just sounds like this. So just like a very classic drum and bass type drum break. I also went through and kind of pitched it up a little bit just to give it a little bit more of that classic jungle drum and bass texture. Now let's go ahead and grab the vocal doubler and we can start playing around with this effect. So this is actually gonna be super interesting because this vocal doubler is usually designed to work with mono sound sources. So if you're working with like a chord or something like that on a synthesizer, it usually doesn't work quite as well because of the pitch shifting engine and chorusing and everything that's built into this. But if we have it on a drum sound source, we can actually get some very interesting effects. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and increase the separation all the way up so that way it's as wide as possible. So now we just get like a weird chorusing effect. It's also widening up our drum loop quite a bit, which is rather nice. I can go to my variation slider, which is gonna add some additional pitch variation between left and right channels, and listen to what happens as I increase this. It gives us this really interesting widened drum loop. So it's adding in this pitch variation and natural chorusing. Because of the different controls that are happening behind the scenes on this plugin. But what that's also doing is really opening up the stereo image of our drum break. And it's adding just this kind of cool chorus widened texture to my sound. You could decrease the amount by just playing around with the amount slider. Or you could just go ahead and have this be soloed. Get a really interesting widened drum break. So I think because it's more of like a main drum element, I like to leave that effects only off, but this could actually be super cool on a mix if you had different drum parts that were underneath it. And this was just sitting out wide on the sides. That could actually be super nice. So just because this is designed to work with vocals doesn't mean that it has to always be on a vocal mix or a vocal bus. You can use this creatively on various different sound sources to get all sorts of really cool sounds for your productions. So that's two different ways of using this plugin. One on vocals to create some artificial double tracking and second more as a creative effect. So that wraps up this video and that also wraps up this sound design and music production course with Groove 3. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos, and if you did, make sure to check out the other courses on Groove3's website for more music production, mixing, and mastering tutorials as well. So thanks again, and I'll see you in another video soon.